Today, I have a Jeep Wangler, and I'm gonna show you how to replace the key fob battery inside of this Jeep Wangler key fob. I'm gonna show you how to replace it with a brand new battery. I'm gonna give you the model number of that battery so you can get on your way in your Jeep Wangler. So, with that being said, before I get started, if you find my video helpful in any way, can you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. So, all right, with that being said, I am going to go ahead and open up the Jeep Wangler key fob. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look on the sides of the Jeep Wangler key fob on this particular one, and you'll find a groove, and you'll see this groove. And so what I'm gonna do is you can take a flathead screwdriver that is thin enough to slide into that groove, or in my case, I'm using a letter opener, I just simply press in there and to pry it open, press in there, pry it open. And be careful because sharp objects can be sharp. So it pried open a little bit. I think I would have a better uh, chance using a flathead screwdriver that's thin enough in to get in there. So be careful when you're doing that. You don't want to stab yourself. So you get that in there. And I suggest you take this mechanic and not doing it to yourself, for yourself, so you have it properly and professionally done. So you get in there and twist it. And I pried open the back of the Jeep Wangler key fob. Now with the pried open halfway, I can just go ahead and take it. And it comes off completely like that. Now while it's off like this, you want to take something and wipe down the dust, the pollen, dirt, grime, soda spill, coffee spill, tea spill, Kool-Aid spill, lemonade spill, beer spill, mixed drink spill. Whatever spill that you have, you want to clean that up right there. Take on this side, also wipe all that stuff out. And when you have it in this position right here, you want to take either a letter opener, if it's thin enough, to slide into this groove up here. You see that? This is a groove right here. And what you'll do is you'll have to take it, slide something in, push it down, and pop it up, and then pull out the battery. And because this letter opener isn't thin enough, I'm gonna use another tool. I don't suggest you using this because it is sharp, and sharp items can be sharp. And dangerous. I suggest a flathead screwdriver that can fit in there. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and put it in that small groove right here, just the tip. And then I'm going to pull it up and it kind of pops out. And when it does that, I have to remember the orientation. Now the flat side or the positive side is facing upwards. I'm going to show you. See that positive? Upward. Upward. Like going to heaven. Upward. This side is a negative going down towards and what's down. And inside right here, if you have some sort of dusting mechanism, I suggest getting the dusting, the dust out of this area right here because it can cause problems. <sighs> Get rid of that dust. And then discard of the old battery properly, recycle or the appropriate rubbish area. And then you gotta take the battery, negative side down positive side up, slide it into this trench right here, that big groove, slide it in there. And once it's in there, you're gonna to continue to push down and push away. And that will snap the battery into place. Boom, snapped into place. It's behind the grooves right here. You can see right there, it's behind the grooves. And then once that's in place, I'll go ahead and get the cover of this right here, and then I'll slowly put it right here, snap it into place like that, and that is how you replace the battery on a Jeep Wangler key fob. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.